Welcome back everybody. I know I have not done any videos lately. That's because um, we moved, you know, we moved to, we moved from Alabama to Virginia and there's still no internet. That's why I'm not signed in here. And that's also why I've not been recording lately. I've been busy unpacking and everything. So please forgive me for that. But now I'll continue the series Powder Toy Tutorials. So this is episode two. And this is, I'm going to cover more advanced circuitry. Okay. I'm not, I, I don't know what I remember last time, so, I don't know what I covered last time, so I don't know uh, if I'm going to cover things again. Okay. I know I did not cover these two. PTCT, NTCT. Um, I don't know what they stand for, so, uh, I'm just going to call it that. Okay. These are useful for logic circuits. I'm going to start with this. Place the pixel of it down here. These really don't work very well if you have lots of them. This is a this is for microcircuitry for not putting big splotches down. So this is a very precise. I guess you could maybe two or three pixels, but this relies greatly on heat. Okay. So. Okay, we'll take some PSCN and do that. Okay. It will not um, conduct because it says only conducts electricity when hot. So, to make it hot, we take metal and we spark it. And I'm going to pause it here. And you can see that's hot. If I unpause it, it automatically cools itself down. So, it has other functions. You can use it for turning water vapor into water. It's really nice because it automatically cools down. So it does not conduct right now, but if I take a battery, now it does conduct. And this is essentially the basic AND gate. Um, this is the output. And it only works if this is on and this is on. So I'll t use a battery for that. Yeah, see, if I take this away. Does it work? I take this away. It doesn't work. So that's how an AND gate works, and I'll get deeper into that when we start doing more advanced things. Maybe I'll make a computer. No promises. I don't. I I still don't know how to get the CPU to fit everything together, but I do know some of the components for a computer, and I'll discuss that gradually more and more later on. Okay, let's get to PTCT. This is the exact opposite. It will stop conducting when it's hot. So it only conducts when it's cold. Okay. So right now it does conduct. Right now it does not conduct. Also, these, uh, remember that um, two bit cable with the insulated wire and the metal? Well, we can do a 4-bit cable. So we take the insulated wire, the metal, so this is our 2-bit, and we get the PTCT. We do this. Take the NTCT. Oh, that was the NTCT. Ah, better. I didn't notice. Okay, now it will do this, that, this, and this. Now let's see if I can figure out a way to make it bounce. Hmm. Okay, we can do this part with PCN. So now it does this. Oh yeah, I also know that these two react differently with NSCN. I don't really do that. I uh, I don't understand that as much as some people do. So I'll just be using PSCN for these two. I might do NSCN later if I can figure it out. I think it does. The opposite. I'm not sure. So, okay, what do we do for this? Okay, I think I'll just try NSCN because I think that might work. Okay, I'll kind of cheat and use this thing. Insulator. It will prevent. Okay, let's just show you over here. It'll prevent sparks from going across like this. 
see they won't reach. This is nice to use. It helps get a little bit more compact with your circuits. I think it will, and since it doesn't connect, conduct heat, I think it will not heat it up across there. Let's see. Oops. Yeah, is it heating up? Let's see. Um, nope, it's not. It's good. I take this away, then it does. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll use some insulation for this part if it bounce. Good. Good. Okay. I'm going to take some PSCN. It will conduct if it's carrying something, so we can do this. Okay. That's about it. Oh, wait. What? What? Oh. It's interesting. The metal is heating up this, so I'll take some PSCN. So for, uh, from what I'm seeing, it does the opposite. So. Yes, we have a little thing going on there. It's like a battery. Oh yeah, since we have no internet, I I have an example of that in my solar panel with battery. You can go check that out, but I can't show you right now because no internet. That's really annoying. I don't know. It'll be a while after I record it before I get this up. So that's PSCN and SCN. And um, what else is there? Oh yeah, I didn't show you the electrode last time. Okay. This is not a part of advanced circuits, I'll tell you that right now. It says use sparingly because, okay, I take this, okay, there's one over here. So, let me just make an arrow. It's a crude arrow. There. One right there. <laughs> and one right here. Here. Okay. Oh, those are terrible arrows. Sorry. Um, okay, there's one here, one here. And if we spark one, it creates a plasma arc. And this is not good for electronics because if we go in heat, look at the yeah, that's that's maximum heat. That's ten thousand or something. Well, yeah, it used to be ten thousand. Maybe yeah, it melts the metal like instantly. So yeah, that's the arc, and then it spreads out. It melts the metal really quickly, and that's why it's not commonly used in electronics. It will burn insulation because it's flammable. That's one thing I don't like about it. I wish insulation was not flammable, but it is. So this is what that's that's what that's used for. Um, there's a second one. There it is. If we take a second one, it it's a, pretty much useless. Um. There's also lightning, test the coil, just makes lightning from it. I think I showed you mercury, so that's all for now. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to use wires. Goodbye.